Brad, we're heading up to one of uh, your favorite shooting spots. Yeah, we're going to go up here and do a little bit of product reviews, maybe uh, just do a little bit of shooting, talking about Sharpen's Best and some of the product. We're going to have a good day. It's snowy. It's beautiful. It's blue sky. It's probably just a little bit chilly out there, but if you're right in the sun without the wind, it'll probably be, I don't know, probably 50 degrees. Take care. Have a good day. It wasn't like this when we got here last time, was it? Or was it? Oh, it's okay. getting nice. Springtime in the Rockies. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. You're going to start taking trips out into the woods. Maybe you've already been out there snowmobiling. What's something you really ought to take with you? Okay, well, that would be the all-in-one. Excuse me, the four-in-one. All right, that would be your Sharpen Spark Mini. It's got a fire starter. It's got a shaper, a sharpener, and it's also got a bottle opener right there in the handle. So it's four tools in one, and your fire starter's in the handle. Sharpensbest.com. Go see us, Brad. You know what, it's hunting season. Sharpensbest.com. A must have that you would take to the woods with you. Survival tool, sharpener, okay, fire starter, reshaper. Sharpensbest.com. Sharp and spark. Hi, I'm Brad Buckner, and I'm proud to be an American. Are you proud to be an American? If you're proud to be an American, tell us why in the comments down below. Hi, I'm Brad Buckner, proud to be an American. If you're proud to be an American, tell us why in the comments down below. The winner, okay, the best one, gonna get a sharp and spark. Hi, this is Brad Buckner. You know, summer season, it's uh, right on us. And, uh, you know, when you take off and leave town and you head out into the woods, you're going hunting, hiking, camping, fishing, whatever you're going to do, you're going to go down along the river, you're going to follow some ravines, you're going to get away from your car. You know, you just might go further than you ever thought you were going to. Uh, it gets late, you know, maybe a storm comes up, uh, you know, living in Wyoming like I do. You can have 2 o'clock, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you can have uh, three inches of hail and uh, drop down to 40, uh, even, you know, 30 degrees and, you know, things like that. We have tremendous uh, temperature changes up there. So be prepared a little bit. Put something in your pockets before you go. A little knapsack, you know, a couple snacks, a little bit of water. You know, put the Sharp and Spark uh, in your pocket from Handy Sharp. Uh, you get those from the best website. Okay, that'll be sharpensbest.com. And uh, I'm the original, uh, you know, website for it. And so, you know, just take some things with you. Take something to start a fire. Take a snack. Maybe you take some water. Take a good pocket knife. You might take a small survival knife, seven, eight inch uh, fixed blade knife, good and tough. You know, a little bit of stuff like that. Um, roll up uh, maybe another T-shirt or two. Stick them in your, you know, your pack. Uh, two or three layers might be a good deal. Um, just little stuff like that. That's, uh, we call it kind of like a bug out bag. Throw a bunch of stuff in. It doesn't have to be a great big backpack. It can be literally six or seven pounds, uh, you know, lightweight. Um, you know, maybe a, a friend of mine throws in a 50 gallon uh, garbage can liner. You can poke a hole in the top of it, stick your head out, put the thing down over you, keep you dry as a bone except for your head or something. So just be a little bit prepared. Um, have a little bit of common sense before you leave your vehicle. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. Take care and have a terrific day. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful place. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You know what? Pretty good sized knife. Just bought it in Hawaii. Take out the paper that I normally use. Got a little bit of paper to pick up. I'm just demonstrating. Look at the size of the knife. The paper that we slice off. 
I got sharp knives. Why wouldn't I? I'm Brad Buckner. I got sharpensbest.com. Knife sharpeners. You want knives? Sharp as mine? Go to Sharpens Best. Check out the family. There's five knife sharpeners. It's the best sharpeners on earth. Trust me. Check them out. Try it. See for yourself. Call me if you need help. Go to my website. Watch my YouTube videos. I'm going to help you sharpen your knives with my sharpeners. Make them cut like that. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. You take care and have a good day. I'm having a terrific day. If you want the best survival tool out there, go to the Sharpens Best family. There's five of them. Sharpens Best. Go to SharpensBest.com. Take care. Have a good day. It's hiking season. Most important thing to have, sharp knife. How do you sharpen it? Sharpen Spark. Where do you get it? SharpensBest.com. Another day, another shoot. Oh, <laughs> another day of fun in the sun in the snow, Colorado. Up here in a beautiful park overlooking, you know, a lot of land out there. Colorado is a good, cool, pretty place. Good place to fish, hunt, bring your family. It's pretty clean. Go to sharpensbest.com. That's a pretty good site, too. Take care of this, Brad. You know, being outside on a day like today, you've got your snow, it's about, oh God, it's got to be 60 degrees. You're outside, you want to be safe. How are you going to stay safe? Well, you can take the best tools with you and the right tools with you. That would be a sharpen spark from sharpensbest.com. Be safe. You know what? Oh, that was a bucket of uh, Gatorade. I'm not the coach. Take care. Have a good day. We'll see you later. Hunting, hiking, camping, fishing, make sure you take the ultimate survival tool with you. That would be a sharpen spark from sharpensbest.com. Hi, hunting, hiking, camping, fishing, you know what? Take the best tool with you. I've had quite a history. I've done a lot of things. Welder, fitter, fabricator, cat skinner, heavy equipment operator, mechanic. Uh, you know, I built stuff at construction companies. I've built schools and bridges. I built 200-foot uh, clear span trusses. If you ever want to see some of my work, go to Portland to the new expansion of the airport, those 200-foot clear span white trusses. That's some of my work. Go to the Husky Stadium uh, in Washington. Go to the uh, Huskies indoor practice field. You'll see some more of those big trusses. You know, I never dreamed uh, that I would be selling knife sharpeners, but it's a lot easier. It's a lot more fun, a lot more travel, neater people. You know, it's just an interesting job. Uh, it's fun. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Go check it out. Look at the sharpens part. Take care. You know, it's a big world out there. There's a lot of exploring to do. There's a lot of stuff to see. You know, I mean, it just, it's just, we're all little kids when it comes to the outdoors and, and uh, down off. I love rock piles and trees and mountains and valleys and rivers and creeks and streams. And, you know, you go poking and prodding around. You know what you really need to be uh, paying attention to survival and things like that. The Sharpen's Best uh, Sharpener family, there's five of them. Um, you know, there's a lot of good tools. The one that I carry uh, most assuredly everywhere I go actually is a little pocket model. All right, it's called the Sharpen Spark Mini. You got a, sh a sharpener, a shaper, a bottle opener, and a fire starter. And there's a lot of stuff that I can do with the bottle opener other than just open bottles. All okay. right. I always take a little tube of hand sanitizer uh, with me, two, three ounces, when I actually leave the vehicle and head for the woods. Why? 64% alcohol burns 600 degrees. Pretty good deal. And then you've got your sharp and spark. You know, it's better off just to take take five minutes before you leave the vehicle. Maybe you get a little bit of uh, tinder, some kindling that you take with you, a little baggie, sandwich baggie with some stuff in there that makes an easy fire. Small flashlight, you know, a good pocket knife, um, <coughs> you know, your sharpened spark. Uh, just a few things like that that you ought to take to be prepared. It could take a total disaster and make it at least tolerable. If you're slightly prepared, go to Sharpen's Best. Look at our survival type tools, the sharpeners, there's five of them. Take care. Have a good day. This is Brad. All right, we got camera three, camera two, camera one. Back to the rock bank test. Here we go. Brad coming out. All right, Brad. Sharpening butter knives. Coming out in three.
Hi, I'm Brad Buckner. Had a little bit of a challenge. Uh, I sharpened a butter knife a long time ago. Took me about four minutes. Sliced the paper. The same kind of paper that I use at all the shows. It doesn't really slice the paper. Uh, it cuts the paper. It is a butter knife. It's going to end up a little bit thick because butter knives are thick. So is this one sharp? Well, it better not be or I'm going to have a mess here. Okay, it's hard to find a butter knife that isn't serrated, but you know what? I know I can cut those serrades off. And uh, yeah, you can look at it. Um, Okay, it's not cutting. I'm going to hold still right in the sun. All right. It is a butter knife. Now we look at it from the side. Yep, it's totally a butter knife. Actually, it's kind of a nice knife. Um, so anyway, here in just a second, I'm going to start the timer. And I'm going to sharpen this knife to cut my paper like I do on the videos and show you how it works. So there's the sharpener. It's a long handle. I always talk about reshaping a blade. The only time I ever use the V is to reshape a blade. You have to reshape a butter knife or you're not going to be able to use it for a knife, cut paper, things like that. So I'm going to draw the knife through the V, then I'm going to finish it off with the open face and it'll look like this, okay? So here in just a few seconds, got to make sure this thing stays awake. So I've got my timer set here on the uh, cell phone. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to draw it through there. I'm going to reshape the blade. Then I'm going to take the uh, straight edge, I'm going to brush the wire edge off the blade, then I'm going to cut some paper. So, we are going to start, okay, where's the, there it is. We're going to start the timer here in just a second, and we're going to get this done. It's going to take less than four minutes, I'm pretty sure. All right, so, five, four, three, two, one, go. And we just draw it through there, and we let the carbide cut. You can probably hear the little vibration, chatter noise. That's cutting off the serrated part of the blade. And the chips are just flying. This is probably faster than a lot of your little belt sanders. Although you give me about an 80 to 100, 120 grit belt sander like the work sharp that I love dearly. And I'll make a butter knife sharp in a very short time actually. So we're at uh, 45 seconds. So we'll just work on it here for a little bit. I'm in no big hurry. I have four minutes. You'd be amazed how much of that knife blade I can take off of there in four minutes running it through a cross V carbide. I want to reiterate when you sharpen your knives, hunting knives, pocket knives, down around 10, 12 degree bevel, please don't do this to them. Only crappy kitchen knives or butter knives that you're trying to prove a point with. Okay, we've got to be getting... That bites. <laughs> That's sharp. So just like this. So what I'm doing is I'm taking one of the corners and I'm brushing the blade, just like that, just like this. All right, we're going to do a quick test here. We're in a minute and 41 seconds. Got to get my paper out. It's kind of wet. Don't want to get the paper on the wet table. I'm wasting time right now, as you can see. I should have had the paper on top. All right, where's the actual paper? For a butter knife, that's pretty sharp. I'm not going to waste too much time right now. Let's go ahead and work on it. So just like this. Actually, I think I'll just go ahead and cut some more of the knife off. And we're at 2 minutes and 28 seconds. Oop, paper's going to get wet. I like doing these things outside where you might be when you have to do this. Don't like to do them inside necessarily. All right. I know one thing, it's sharp enough that I would never put it to my throat like I did a little while ago or to my neck. And then light. For as thick as the butter knife is, see the V is going to put it somewhere in the neighborhood 
of 22 degree angle. That's almost too thick to really slice paper. But you can see that that's actually cutting paper pretty good. And right now I'm at 3 minutes and 24 seconds, well under the 4 minutes. So let's hurry just a little. And I'm going to bear down on my sharpener just a little. Really hard to get the serrated edge off that blade because the V-notch is going to kind of follow it. And we're getting down there to where we're just about ready to quit and my paper's wet. <laughs> People say, yeah, you had to get the paper wet to cut it. That's sharp enough. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Watch the videos, take care, have a good day. Okay, you know, it's funny, the longer I do this, the more people I meet. Uh, the other day I met Matt Wright. Uh, he's the latest uh, to be aired on Discovery Channel and on uh, the Naked and Afraid series. And I spent the weekend with him in Denver at the gun show. And I, I knew Matt a little bit, you know, I've seen him and everything else, but we never really talked. I mentioned the sharpeners. Uh, he said, yeah, I use your sharpeners, I love them. Matt's a guide, uh, he does fishing, he does survival, uh, you know, schools. Uh, he just teaches you, he'll teach you how to make knives, he makes knives. I've met E.J. Snyder, uh, went to Fayetteville, uh, North Carolina, spent some time with him. Uh, he owns my sharpeners, loves them. Um, you know, and go to Topps Knives and look at Skull Crusher, uh, you know, E.J. Snyder's big knife that he designed, took. Um, E.J.'s a really cool guy. He's a third, I think, three-time survivor and then did uh, Duel, Naked and Afraid. He's been on Lost. Um, really cool guy working with him, you know, talking back and forth a little bit. He's going to be here in Colorado somewhere on the 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th, and 14th. Uh, for a survival school, we'll meet up, we'll talk a little bit, you know, um, just neat people, places that I go, stuff I do, no idea I'm going to run into these people, you know, it's just really cool because the more you run into those people, the more you're in places. Uh, I'm going to take off and I'm going to go to Blade Show this year in Atlanta, Georgia. I went two years ago as a vendor. Uh, I'm not going as a vendor this year. I'm actually going to go take my camera. I'm going to interview EJ, be at his booth for a little while. Um, you know, talk to, I think Jeff, I don't know his last name, might be there. He was uh, EJ's partner on Naked and Afraid. And so, you know, I just keep meeting really cool people. If you have a fantastic product that actually works, you're not scared to show somebody, because it does work, you let them use it, maybe you need to coach them a little bit. I got people that say, Brad, the first time I used it, it worked perfectly. Why? Because I watched your videos. I get people that say, I watched your videos, it didn't work at all. I went back, I watched them again, then it worked. Why? You have to pay attention to what I say. You have to do what I say. You have to look at what I'm saying. It's not rocket science, but you can't just assume you know it and do it. It doesn't always work that way. It's tungsten carbide. This is Brad Buckner. Have a great day. I sure am. Sharpensbest.com. Sharpenspark. See you later. Hi, this is Brad. Let's take just a minute to reflect here. I enjoy making these videos. I like putting them on YouTube. I have fun. I hope you have fun. You keep watching them. Keep the numbers up and we'll keep bringing them to you. We do travel around. Go to sharpensbest.com. Go to YouTube slash sharpensbest. This is Brad. Take care. Have a good day. Let's take a little time to reflect here. I'm Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. I sharpen knives. I hope you can see it in the video. Make your knives cut like that. How do you make them sharp like that? Sharpens best products. Five of them. You know what? When you go to the woods, take a sharpen spark with you. You get a fire starter, a V notch for reshaping, a straight edge for sharpening. This is Brad. Take care. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You know it's not all work, it's not all just advertising. Just take a look around you. This is south of Denver, just a little ways, I don't know, 15 miles, 20 miles, something like that. Just look at the snow, look at the blue sky, look at the rocks, look at the intricacy of the landscape, look at how the rocks are tipped up. You know, something just to feed your brain, just to feed your eyes, to enjoy. Just, you know, honest to God, just take a look around and just look at stuff. Getting ready for a wedding, you know, the blue sky, the warmth that's it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 55, maybe even 60 degrees. Look around. Have a good time.
Hunting, hiking, camping, fishing, your knives, keep them sharp. How do you do it? Sharpen Spark. Where do you learn about it? Sharpensbest.com. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, where do you get the right tools to sharpen your knives? Sharpensbest.com. <laughs> I probably should have used the black balls or the orange balls, but not the white balls. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. What a beautiful day. You know, we just go out and we have a lot of fun and we shoot some video and we just goof off and, I don't know, borderline, act stupid, whatever. And uh, just show you some scenery, show you some neat places. This is south of Denver, 15, 20 miles, golf course. Can't remember the name of it right now, of course. Um, but anyway, go to sharpensbest.com. Go to YouTube slash sharpensbest. Take a look, check it out. Look at the best sharpeners you'll ever find, the best survival tools. Uh, the Sharpens Park Mini has uh, fire starter, shaper sharpener, and a bottle opener in it. It's only about two and a half inches long. It's lightweight, weighs an ounce or less, fits right in your pocket. A little bit of hand sanitizer, the sharpened spark. That really does help you survive out in the boonies somewhere. This is Brad. Take care and have a good day. We sure are. It's hunting season. What's the most important tool to have? Sharpen spark. Where do you get it? Sharpensbest.com. Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. If you need the best survival tool that you can find out in the woods, that'd be the Sharpen Spark. You got a shaper, sharpener, fire starter tucked into the handle. Make your fires. Sharpen Spark. Brad, take care. Have a good day. You know, there's a lot of knife sharpeners out there. You go to Cabela's, places like that, Sportsman's Warehouse, there's 50, 55 different sharpeners out there. People ask me all the time, why is your knife sharpener better than everything else on the market? Well, I'm going to be just a little egotistical. What's between my ears will help you figure out how to use the best knife sharpener on earth. There's five different knife sharpeners. They're small to the biggest one here. It's got the fire starter in it, reshaper, and a sharpener. Why is mine the best? Well, part of it is because the genius of the sharpener is an outside corner. The outside corner can get down in and follow the contour of the grind of the blade. I can sharpen the tip really easy. It's not flat, it's not round. Therefore, it fits almost everything that I go to do with it, about 50 different blades, knives, and tools. Sharpensbest.com, what I will teach you how to sharpen. That's what makes my sharpener the best. Hey, Brad, this is a prime example of one of the areas where you could hurt yourself or do something and be caught out in nature, twist a leg, an ankle. Yeah, you know what? Every time you go hunting, hiking, camping, fishing, you just take a walk. You find a wide spot in the road. It's interesting. you got a river, a creek, a lake down there you want to investigate. If you leave your vehicle headed down off into a ravine or somewhere where you know you can get hurt, I mean, you can get hurt just stepping out of the car, slip on some ice, you know, you jar your back hard enough, you can't get around. So, you know, you really ought to take something with you uh, to help yourself survive. You know, that would be the Sharpen Spark Mini. It's got a bottle opener, a reshaper, a sharpener in it. You know, if you carry a little, uh, like a two ounce bottle of hand sanitizer in your pocket, you know, you make a little bit of kindling, a squirt of hand sanitizer, take the spark, sharpen spark, out of the handle, okay, and make yourself a fire. You need to be a little bit prepared. Why? Because stuff happens to people that they never had a clue would happen to them maybe 10 seconds before it happened. So be, uh, you know, be ready, be prepared. Think survival, uh, maybe it's five o'clock in the afternoon, it's gonna be dead dark in a half an hour. You're 100 feet from your vehicle, nobody knows where you are, and maybe you just need to survive there. Take the Sharpen Spark, go to sharpensbest.com, check it out, it's a good deal. Hey buddy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You know what I did? We forgot some 9-volt batteries. This nice gentleman right here decided to go and get us some batteries, okay? And uh, so the Sharpen Spark is what I'm going to give him as a thank you. So we have, that's okay. Um, we've got the sharpener right here. We've got a shaper right here. And if you unscrew the black handle from the red inside, you scratch off the black coating. Under the black coating, you see the spark starting to appear. I'll get in the shade here. So that's a ferrocerium rod, okay? You never wear it out, they don't break, wear out, come apart. Here is your very own sharpened spark.
Thank you, sir. All right, take care. Have I a good day. I appreciate it. Thank you very I much. I appreciate it too, believe me. <laughs> Nine volt batteries. Take care. Have a good day. This is Brad. I'm Brad Buckner, and I'm proud to be an American. Are you proud to be an American? If you are, tell us why in the comments down below. Hi, I'm Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com, just sitting here in some of nature's beauty. Uh, you want some of the cleanest water you'll ever have in your life? Fresh snow. Whew. Love it. You know, out in nature, you might need to figure out, how do I sharpen things? How do I keep my knife sharp? Maybe it's a survival situation. Maybe you have the sharpener, which I hope is the sharpened spark, okay, and you don't have a knife. Start looking for a piece of tin. Look for something off of a roof. Uh, you know, look for something off of a wall, a uh, piece of sheet metal, a little piece of uh, flat bar, things like that. I'm going to show you today a little bit about how I would make a knife sharp. So I picked up a butter knife, and I'm going to show you how to make a butter knife sharp in a very short time. Could be three to five minutes if I'm not really hurrying, you know. And um, right now I'm interested in sharp, not exactly the time that it takes me, because if you're lost stranded out somewhere, you probably have a little extra time. I'm going to just put this one on my leg, okay, the sharpened spark, okay, sharpened spark. It's got the spark in the handle, it's got a reshaper right here, and on this side it's got what I call the open face. The open face is two 90 degree corners made out of tungsten carbide. You know, it's quite a bit harder than the knife, and uh, we'll just kind of leave it at that because there's a lot of debate on hardness of tungsten carbide. All I know is it's like a machinist, okay? You got the uh, lathes, you got the mills, things like that. And this is more like a mill in my hand, tungsten carbide, okay? So I'm gonna use, you can see it's round. This is the back. This is the, the cutting edge, okay? This is the part that you would use, rounds up like that. So is it sharp? Well, it better not be or I'm gonna have a mess because I'm actually pushing pretty hard. I can do this on my arm. I think you can see that my arm is actually indented like that. Okay, so yes, it is a butter knife, it is dull. So let's go ahead and start sharpening and, and uh, see how it works. But first, okay, let's see. Okay, I'm actually gonna make the paper rigid and I'm gonna do it like I was if I was actually trying to show a person that the knife was dull, okay? And all it's, all it's wanting to do right now literally is bend the paper and why wouldn't it? Because it isn't sharp at all. Nip, 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 you know, okay? So let's put the paper over here for a second. Let's put this on my leg and let's begin to sharpen, okay, the knife, the butter knife. So I'm gonna draw it through the V, just like this, and I'm just gonna go right along. Ooh, you ought to see the shavings that's starting to build up on my leg, okay? Just like that. Put, you know, good pressure on it, maybe a pound of pressure. Rotate it up as you go through like this. That's gonna work on the point of the knife also, the rounded part, the radius. If you're going to skin an elk or something like that with a dull <laughs> butter knife that you've just sharpened, you may want the uh, radius of the knife to be nice and sharp too. I don't know why you wouldn't. So we're just going to go along like this, and we're just going to cut an edge on the butter knife. Okay, just like that. It's not going to take very long. It only takes about a minute and 20 seconds or something like that to really start getting an edge on a butter knife and I'm cutting shavings off. It'd be fun to have a camera pointed right at my leg. You know, it's funny, I can smell what I'm doing here because the knife is actually getting hot. The little chips are hot. Friction is what's making those little chips hot. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna lighten up the pressure, just like that. That's gonna put a finer edge on it without ripping the metal off and curling the little tiny edge over. So we just touch it lighter. And I'm gonna do something I never do. I'm just curious. I wanna see what kind of an edge, and I'm just lighter and lighter and lighter. I'm gonna see what kind of an edge that I created on the knife without touching it with the open face to clean up the cutting edge. Everything I do is kinda of like a first time. I don't sit around and practice this stuff. I actually want to be just as surprised as you might be. I want to be surprised it didn't work. I want to be surprised like, holy cow, that really worked. All right, I don't phony up my videos. We don't shoot them, you know, half a dozen times. Okay, that one, actually, I am surprised and, and you can see it right here. All right, it's gonna take a little bit more time because uh, that knife is really thick. So, let's go ahead and, and uh, cut some more metal. Oop, there's a lot of metal on my leg. I don't know why it isn't sharp. All right, so we just go like this. I'm cutting off shavings that are about that long, three-eighths of an inch long, 
uh, little pigtail curly cues, uh, magnetic because I'm actually making them magnet as I do this, magnetic. Will that make a nice smooth edge? No, it won't. It'll make a sharp edge. If I'm out and I'm lost, stranded, stuck somewhere, and I need to make a knife out of something, absolutely couldn't care less what the cutting edge looks like as long as it cuts what I want to cut with it. Let's see if we're getting any closer. Yeah, we're getting a little closer. This is taking longer, okay, it is starting to cut. This is taking longer than some of the other videos because I put them on a rock, they're more solid, I go down through there. If you don't have anything more than, you know, basically your leg to work with, this is too flexible, okay, it's chattering, it's moving, it wants to lay over. The energy that I'm creating, pushing the two together, isn't really solid, like it would be on a table, a rock, a tailgate, a bumper, a fence post or something like that, but I just want to set here. I'm not going to take very long. It won't. And we're going to sharpen a butter knife just like this. Now when it starts to get sharp out there on the tip, you certainly do not want to slip off, go down and pull it. You'll probably cut right through your pants and you just might have a gash in your leg. So pay attention to what you're doing while you're doing this. Just like that. All right, we're going to check it again. Lots of metal shavings. That's a lot better. It's getting where it actually cuts pretty good. All right, we're going to go just a little more on the V. And I'm not hurrying like I would if I was actually in a race. Just like that. Reshape the blade. I'm running it through the V. That's what I do with the V. Reshape the blade. I personally don't use the V. My pocket knives, hunting knives, stuff like that get sharpened with the open face. It's a lot nicer to the blade. Makes an evener, smoother blade. Makes a finer cutting edge. And my hunting knives, pocket knives, are not going to be at a 22 degree angle, which is about what this is set at. I want my knives, my hunting knives, pocket knives to be around 10, 12, 13 degrees. Woohoo! I'm telling you, I hope you can see it. That's pretty darn sharp. PDS right there, guys. And I haven't touched it with the open face yet to fine tune the cutting edge. So, let's fine tune it a little bit, see if we can see a, a visible, noticeable difference. We're going to go along like this. So, what I'm doing here is I have two edges, run right there, one right there, they're 90 degree corners. It's just a 90 degree corner, it's an edge, whatever you want to call it. You have a flat surface, flat surface, flat surface, that gives you two 90 degree corners. So I'm going to set it like this on there and I'm going to match the bevel that I've created. Then I'm going to turn it approximately 45 degrees. I'm going to put the knife on my leg like this and I'm going to slide it from the handle out to the tip. I don't have to go all the way out. I'll move towards the tip around the radius, just like this, right on around. And I know the knife's getting pretty sharp because when I flip it over, there's a little wire edge. The little wire edge standing up there is like little feathers sticking up there. So when I run the sharpener down it and it actually drags back, I know I'm cutting the wire edge off the blade. Only a really sharp knife will create, will, uh, eh, what do you call it? Yeah, create a uh, really fine little edge on there. So just brush along like that. Brush along here, around the radius, off the tip. Now I'm going to touch the knife even lighter, flipping the knife every pass, just like that. Why am I doing this and touching it so light? I'm going to polish that blade just a little bit. I'm going to polish the cutting edge. I want to polish back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, that little tiny micro burr, that wire edge, that burr, whatever you want to call it, off the blade as good as I can. Now let's see. We're probably running into five or six minutes here, so we better probably get it done. Holy cow. Would you look at that? That doesn't really surprise me. Okay, people say, but can you sharpen a knife from, from dull to sharp? If I can cut pieces off the blade, that'll take it down. If I can get lighter with my touch, take less of a piece off, that's starting to smooth the blade. 
If I use the open face to polish the blade, of course I can sharpen a knife from dull to sharp. And I can make them sharper and sharper and sharper. If I work on the knife for, say, 15 minutes, and I keep making it thinner and thinner and thinner, okay, and I get down to my 10 degree bevel or something like that, I'll make a knife. In fact, is I'm going to do something. You won't be able to see it there, maybe. But I'm going to do what everybody does, lick the Oh, God, that bites. Oof. Hang on. Oh, my. Okay, now, <laughs> somehow we're going to get this because the hair is absolutely missing off my arm. Uh, I'm going to pick this wad of hair up right here, and I'm going to hold still. Okay, <laughs> you should see my arm. There's so much hair missing off of my arm. Uh, you know, and, and, and I'm not digging, I'm not ripping at it or anything. Oh, God, don't be careful. Just, oh, just like that. Okay, that butter knife, again, just shaved off a wad of hair off my arm. You know what? When I say that I'm a little surprised, uh, it's always new to me because I do these things and then I check it. Hey, if it doesn't cut at all, I'm like, well, I should have worked better than that. If it just cuts the hair right off of my arm, I'm surprised because you go, holy cow. It really did get it sharp, you know? Well, of course I expected it, but you don't expect it as sharp. So let's play just a little bit. Not much, just like this. I'm gonna hurry it up, just a little. My butter knives, you know what I'm gonna do? I sharpen, we're gonna sharpen like a dozen butter knives, just for the fun of it. We're gonna put them on my website, and we're gonna have a contest. And you're gonna win one of my sharpened butter knives. Why? I don't know. Maybe you just want it. And you go, hey, I got one of Brad Buckner's uh, Sharpens Best butter knives that he sharpened, you know. And I won't. Okay, here's how you check, see if I'm lying or not. Take the knife, look at it, and you'll see a little wavy, a little railroad tracks, a little rough. It obviously wasn't done with a stone, a steel, Lansky, croc sticks, diamond impregnated. Uh, one of my most favorite little tools is, is a uh, belt sander called Work Sharp. Love that thing to death. You look at my blades and you'll see I sharpened it with a carbide. Okay, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. Go to YouTube slash sharpen, sharpensbest. It's just fun. We have a lot of fun stuff, a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of informative stuff. Good products, five different products. You got the round, the poker chip, the rectangle, you got the long handle, you got the sharpen spark, sharpen spark mini, and whether you believe in me or not, I'll teach you how to sharpen knives out in the field, at home, pruners, hedge trimmers, grass trimmers, side dykes, tin snips, so many different things. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You take care and have a good day. <laughs> oh, yeah?